Hi, welcome to theCUBE. I'm your host, Lisa Martin, and we are on the ground at Google with CloudNow, which is a nonprofit organization that really promotes and mentors leading women in cloud technologies and converging technologies. Tonight, we're here with CloudNow at their fifth annual Top Women in Cloud Innovations Awards. And we're very excited to be talking with an award winner tonight, Shahida Nizar, Senior Director of Engineering at GoDaddy. Welcome to theCUBE. Thank you, Lisa. It's great to have you here. We'd love to uh, share with our audience a little bit about the project for which you're being um, uh, honored tonight. Tell us about that project. Uh, a little bit of uh, background. Uh, GoDaddy uh, was known for commercials that were unsavory. Uh, yeah, I think I've seen a few and, of those. <laughs> <laughs> uh, at, uh, about three or four years ago, I think, GoDaddy brought in uh, the new CEO of Blake, Blake Irving from Yahoo, and they decided to become a true mainstream technology company, build technology uh, to shift the economy towards small businesses. A lot of them, a lot of the small businesses are run by women, so uh, GoDaddy decided that we needed to promote, grow, advocate for women across uh, both inside the company and among our customers. So it was a pretty big cultural shift that there from going from being quite provocative exactly. to being really focused and carry that momentum with accountability at GoDaddy. You, you bet, you bet. And one of the people that came in was Alyssa Murphy, who, was, who became the CTO of GoDaddy. And one of the decisions was also to use open source, uh, which is uh, OpenStack is the open source technology uh, to build our cloud technology, both in uh, both our private cloud and our public cloud, and that's the project that I worked on and I'm here for. And you've been leading that team for about a year, right? Tell us about that team and, and some of the things that um, that your team learns from you, but also vice versa. What are some of the things that you learn or have learned about being this team leader? Absolutely. It, it was, uh, uh, it's a team of about 12 purely working on OpenStack. Um, currently it is largely uh, amazing, a team of amazing engineers. And uh, what I brought to this team was engineering rigor from having been in the industry developing production quality products. Um, with the new technologies. That's what I brought to the team and what I learned uh, at, from being at GoDaddy. I was really inspired by how much, uh, how far they've been able to go, how much business they've been able to build with uh, relatively smaller investments in technology and how dedicated everybody was the moment a decision was made, everybody ran off to the races to make it happen. So that dedication to execution and commitment was what I was floored by, and that ended up being a pretty good uh, combination uh, of good synergy between the team and me. I like that synergy. Give us a little bit of a, ba of a, of a profile into your background. Were you in loving engineering and computer science from the time you were little, or did you have kind of other interests and somehow got to be in this great position? What, what did your background look like? Fantastic, I, uh, you know, I originally come from India, I grew up in India. When I was growing up back then, uh, India is different now, but back then it was pretty common for most parents to have some kind of a vision for their children, and my parents had envisioned that I'd be a doctor, surgeon actually, more specifically. And um, so up to about eighth grade, I was, you know, I grew up with this thing in my head that I was going to be a doctor. And somewhere along the way, I started seeing pictures of computers and I was just fascinated by them and decided to switch gears and persuaded my parents to let me follow a different path. And they completely supported me in that path. And so, I started shifting my focus towards math and computer science, and so graduated with a computer science degree from an engineering college in India, and then did master's in computer science from University of Washington. And so you had support really from uh, your parents, which must have been a tremendous inspiration for you to help 
kind of foster that belief in yourself? You bet, you bet. Um, it, uh, you just put one step in front of the other and anytime there are setbacks and everybody has setbacks, um, you, you just know that you have full support and setbacks are part of life. And you, you just keep going. That's a great message that setbacks are part of life. In terms of maybe some of the resistance that you felt either internally or externally, did you ever feel, wow, there's a, uh, there's math and science, I love it, but there's a lot of boys here. Was that ever an intimidation <laughs> factor for you? And if so, how did you overcome that? Uh, it, when I went in, that was not a factor, but once I was in there, uh, I did notice that, wow, uh, I am a pretty min minority in a large group of boys. Sometimes it can be an advantage in that uh, you can stand out, it is easy to stand out. Sometimes it can be socially isolating, um, and that was the hardest part a little bit early in my career. I had to work to get over it. Um, in, what I realized is that um, people or men, my male colleagues, they weren't being antisocial. Um, and I had a skill of being able to reach out uh, and it worked out win-win for both of us and we were able to socialize and support each other. You, you really bring a great message of perseverance that there, there, yes, there are obstacles, but as you said, life is full of obstacles. Right. And your determination, your perseverance, and also kind of recognizing, well, maybe they're being, the men are being this way for a different reason, yeah. are, I think, really valuable lessons for girls that are maybe interested in STEM programs now, or right. are thinking about either majoring in STEM um, uh, areas, or maybe even early in their tech career. So um, Shahida Nazar, Senior Director of Engineering for GoDaddy, thank you so much for sharing your wisdom. Congratulations again on the award, and now you're officially a CUBE alumna. Thank you, Lisa. Appreciate it. Yeah, absolutely. Well, you've been watching The Cube. I'm your host, Lisa Martin, and I just want to ask you, you know a female that should be featured on The Cube? filmed in our Palo Alto studios, tweet us at theCUBE with the hashtag women in tech. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.